Okay, here we are. Just started about just less than one minute ago doing this uh, soft round brushes. So right now we are here, right and just painting these figures. Okay, the title and the. The idea for this is called the, the Black Shore. And it's supposed to be this figure just standing there waiting for this dude to arrive on his boat. Yep. So as you can see, it's just nothing fancy, just a normal brush. idea across probably it's gonna be a slightly larger dude over here maybe like a titan or a giant right I'm not sure how I got this idea, but I just thought of a horror kind of story whereby, you know, this group of things or creatures stay in this place. So that's the basic gist of this idea. duplicate this set this to multiply to intensify the lighting right. <clears throat> mm. I'm gonna merge them both together like that okay, just drop off this over here Maybe there's some kind of pale moon here. Okay. And I want it to be kind of foggy. So I'm just gonna use some brushes like this one. I'm just gonna paint it over here. I'm gonna do is to use this soft round up here. I'm just going to push all of them back. I see if there's a very heavy miss going on. I'm going to give him some, some arms. Okay, well, I'm just painting in the arms right now.
I'm gonna use a uh, larger brush and set this to cut a dodge and just I'm gonna just paint over the side like that. Okay. And as well as the so called C over here. Okay. And also some reflection on this, this boat over here. Okay, and perhaps some reflection on the speakers okay then the next thing is I'm just going to use another color just stroke over this I'm currently doing this in a very uh, relaxed mode after dinner so just enjoying this and hopefully you guys will enjoy it and learn a couple of things to do okay so this is by no means uh, the only way I work right, so right now I just want to just roll out with just one round brush and just do it as simple as I can The door is done. Uh, I think just one more over okay. here. Just put the water sliding lighter. And I'm going to uh, what next? Use a multiply. Just go over to my clouds. Uh, just stroke it in using the background color. Ah, yeah, I'm very big out. Perhaps over here a bit. Just like that. Okay. Select my brush again. Just stroke over some of these dudes over here. And I think I'm going to have like a figure at the front over here like this hit like this okay give you like a POV some sort of some sort of POV uh, action Okay, next thing is I'm gonna get some texture in the in the whole picture. I'm just gonna use this. Okay, just about ten minutes in. Well, okay, I'm just gonna speed up. Mm, maybe not. Let me just relax and just do this how I want it. Okay. Usually when I do this, I'll be in like almost in a frenzy mode. But I think for this 
the video I just slow it down and show you guys you know some of the just back to basics just round brush and you know okay. just coding alternate and picking all these values and colors so that I can just pin it in easily right in case you're wondering how come I'm able to get like uh, so many different values with just one brush for example You can add a little bit of like different colors into the to the whole thing. And maybe just just maybe one of them have his arms raised you know towards the character. Like this. Time to start drawing some of their faces and just review some of them. This guy over here. Let's see if you can stick off some other colors. Okay, not too bad. A little bit too much. Yellow over there. Just switch to another method which I like to use a lot. Uh, some of you might be a bit more familiar with this tool. It's called the lasso. So, with the lasso, what we're doing is actually just creating uh, silhouettes. Yes. I'm holding down shift so that I can preserve uh, those silhouettes that I just created. Some of them don't even need to be like very, uh, you know, very sharp or detailed. It's just doing it to get some shape out of what is dudes. Wait a minute, are you even dudes? Okay, so you can see that uh, we have quite a um, number of creepy figures all over the place. And at this stage, what we are left to do is press B back to your brush. And I would like to use a very uh, rough brush for this. Okay, so I would like to press Ctrl H to hide and just just uh, to multiply and add in these figures like that right so that is one of the methods you can uh, we are looking at right now and I just deselected it right by pressing Ctrl D and now I'm just using my normal brush to paint out the figures again, give it a desaturated 
yellow orange So I'm going to use the soft round to, to mute it, right? to mute it, let's go, so I'm blend it out nicely, and probably going to add some side and beats in, it's got straps and stuff coming out from here. Went overboard. I uh, didn't don't really want the rest. We have this thing, just this, just this creepy dude in the middle. Okay, so the next step is I'm gonna hide it and pin it out like that. Okay, ten about let's see. Okay, seventeen minutes. Uh, we still have about thirteen minutes to go. Cool. Okay. So very awesome. Uh, we have i'll sell some lovely base to work on and i'm just going to use this clouds brush skip this to screen mode and just pump up this area here with some lovely mist we use a little bit of a teal turquoise kind of feel to it just pump up this area here Press 3 for the wall opacity and stroke it in this area here to create this, this poisonous looking mist. So some of these figures are a little bit too dark, so I'm gonna just use green and wipe them out softly. So you don't really want figures that dark close to the edge of uh, any part of the screen, because it will create too much tension as well as attention to that area because of contrast. So. Always look out for that. Make sure that you know, just make sure that you have uh, contrast where you want it to be, right? This doesn't really look at all now, but uh, I guess there's not much time left. So let's try to fix the rest of the stuff up a little. So at this stage, uh, we are left with okay about ten minutes. Okay, ten minutes. So ten minutes. What do we do? I'm just gonna use a larger brush like that and sweep across this way. Cut a dodge. Select. The simplest tool that you can master in Photoshop as well as uh, a multitude of different imaging softwares. And I, I think I might give him some, some light over here. 
maybe you have a lantern or something you know okay give it a little bit more yellow to that to that yet okay and a little bit of lighting on him Some bits of it on his hair and all that stuff. On the, on the boat surface and the sides as well. Okay, just, just like that. Alright. And. Probably just top it all off with you know just some dark like this. Probably this is in the wrong perspective. You know. But oh well, just doing it for a second just to relax. Okay, so a few grass that I use, uh, you know, lasso to just stroke it out like that yeah, over here. Well, I guess we can cover up our mistakes, huh? Okay, so just put it on green and we're on multiply mode and just stroke it on. Control H. Okay. So there you go. Uh, more or less, the idea is there and, you know, just just... 20-30 minutes and I think I kind of like it and I might work on it a little more but we will see we'll see now we have a bit of time just very little time Okay, we still have 8 minutes. Okay. okay, so now we have this and I'm going to put some basic light on top of him. Flip it. Very used to doing it. Uh, some time now. You know, just flip it, and usually just spot mistakes that you probably wouldn't even notice. But flip it, and okay, this dude is a little bit too too bright. We need darkening. We need darkening as well as give this extra bit of. Okay, that's cool. So, final touch. Probably just use some kind of reddish looking lights for his eyes. Okay. Probably this dude over here deserves the royal treatment. Just give it to him. Perfect. Oh, crap. What about this guy? We need some, some fist, just bit. Probably wrap up in the mask, like. Okay, so that's about it. And to top it off, I'll just add some filters, and we are done. So the first thing is, uh, I like to add some noise. Just, just bit, just tiny bit, not too much. Okay, and. Unsharp mask, let's see how we, how we can get. So look at that. Alright, look at that unsharp mask. It's popping the figures out a lot. So if you want a more painterly look, don't go for this. If you want a more comic like uh, illustration like look, go for it definitely. And it also makes things look a bit more cleaner and sharper, right in my opinion. Just press OK. 
for now. Filter again and let's go to advanced correction. Custom. Let's just decrease this all the way. Let's just zoom in a little bit and see the effect. Mm, not much of an effect actually. Let's go the other way. Okay. Okay, so maybe I need to use this. Nope. Okay, it's back to this one then. Okay. Okay, so that's that's it. Um we are I believe we are approaching the 30 minutes mark and there's just three to four minutes left. Well I just draw some boots in some motion these are the children of the night Second of them because coming up. Nope. Okay. Got a good healthy bunch of archetypes in there. Okay. So I'm gonna save this. Okay, probably before I do that, I'll just control M and just use this to uh, tighten up and change the colors a little bit. piece of yellows appearing finally green okay so that's it sign off guys know something from it hopefully okay. yeah thank you thanks for watching